previously on Dance Moms. ALDCLA is going to happen. Chloe was welcome to come. You all know it's her mother. Abby has ticked off all the moms that she, she can't stand. Yeah. Now Paige is suing Abby. Kelly and Christy, the cause of a media circus intentionally, it's a bloody war. This is my livelihood. I can't just let it fall to pieces. Hello, 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 hello. Coming up on Dance Moms, choreographer's cut. I just had an officer of the court walk through my studio. We are traveling to Detroit, Michigan. You know who lives in Detroit. Ava and her mom, Jeanette. Polani, Maddie, the two of you were going up against each other. This is the big showdown. Everybody's been waiting for it. Look at this competition. It's a joke. Why were you backstage trying to get in my daughter's face? Kendall, get in here. You were a bad mother. Abby, stop it! Hey, there's uh, someone here to see Abby. She's busy right now, Kelsey. Yeah, I have some legal papers to get to her. Have a nice day. I can't have this in my business card. Kelly's lawsuit is official. These women aren't like they were in the 50s, or the 60s, or even the 70s, when they dropped their children off at the dance studio and they trusted you. I can't have this around kids. Trusted you to do right by them. Today, they question me. They contradict me. What's going on? What happened? I just had an officer of the court walk through my studio and serve me with papers in my business. That's ridiculous. Kelly just wants to get back at Abby any way she can, so she's suing her. And I am worried because we're a fractured team, and this is making it worse. They want you to feel humiliated. This is your studio. This is your property. I this understand is your that, and I want to make a statement. I don't know about that. It's in your best interest to say nothing. History has proven that Abby's pretty good at digging her own grave. Because if Abby's upset, that means that Abby is always on the defense, and she's angry. She's bitter. It's inevitable that Abby's going to say something to tick somebody off. I'm scared. Look, we're here. We're supporting you. We're no, part I, of the team. I understand Let's that. get in and have them learn their dances. We have competition this weekend. Otherwise, we let them win. What can we do with our children to help no, just get help the situation? OK, let's go to class, girls. Come on, girls. That's what we need to do. A 13-year-old doesn't all of a sudden decide to sue her dance teacher. This is coming from higher up, the moms, the friends, Christy and Kelly. Let's move on. All of these outside factors are tearing the team apart. Did she leave? Who's on the phone with you? No, she hasn't. She's shaken up. As anybody would be. Rightfully so. But guess what, you guys? It doesn't affect you, who you are, what you do. So I just don't want you to be upset. I'm not really worried about that, because I think she can handle I mean, she's handled <laughs> not lots worse, but yeah. <laughs> this job isn't easy. Everybody's pointing the finger. Everybody wants to see me fail. I just don't trust anybody, and that saddens me. How is everybody? Well, not everybody's here, as you can see. Yeah, that's true. Kalani is late. Again, second week. Is there a penalty for not being here? For just to hold Holly, our accountable? would you like to make the penalty? That's great. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups? I don't know. I just, solo. I just think that we are all held to some to be accountable. And she said, right here, last week, I'm committed, I'm committed, I'm committed. Uh, Stuck in traffic. Your guys' traffic is horrendous here. It is, and I understand that. There's a double standard when it comes to Kira Kalani. There is no Christy and there's no Chloe. And because of that, Abby needs Kalani. 
already Kira is taking advantage of it. And that means there's less time for Nia. I want to get to the pyramid. So on the bottom of the pyramid is Mackenzie. You were to be freaky and weird so that the people go, ooh, and ah, when they saw your tricks. It could have been better, weirder. Next, Maddie. You didn't have a solo this week. You were the twin with Kendall. Was it anything you couldn't handle? No. Nia, I thought you really portrayed your character in your solo as well as the group routine. Thank you. Next, we have Kendall. I thought your solo was good, but could have been stronger. It was still a pretty girl with a pretty prop. So the judges, for their highest score at that competition, went to Kalani. Kalani, I'm glad you're back on the team. I don't know if anybody else is. This weekend, we are traveling to Detroit, Michigan. You know, you know who lives in Detroit, in Michigan. Ava and her mom, Jeanette. Well, I already know she's doing it solo. It's on Facebook. She's going to be better. She's going to be bigger. She's going to be more fabulous. Jeanette and Ava were kicked off the select ensemble. I was never told she was cut. You're cut. Is that clear enough for you? Our kids do have a target on their back. Jeanette sees that target, and she's shooting for it. She owns her own studio. She has trained her daughter. This can't be good. Kalani, you're doing a solo. You earned it. Maddie, you will also be performing a solo. The two of you were going up against each other. I'm worried at this point. Maddie's going against someone that's two years older than her, and that's a fabulous dancer. This is the big showdown. Everybody's been waiting for it. But if that other kid, the stalker's kid, gets anywhere up there even near you guys, look out. Already, the preferential treatment has begun. Kira, she's wanted this since the first moment that Kalani joined the team. It's only fair that Maddie and Kalani go head to head. I don't think that will ever, ever, ever happen. Abby is going to make sure to keep Kira happy. Kira is not going to stay if she doesn't think Kalani is going to be competitive and marketable. I'm beyond frustrated right now. The group routine is entitled Stomp the Yard, inspired by a hot television show right now. Orange is the New Black. You will be prisoners. Acting in this dance routine is going to prepare you for auditions in Los Angeles. Three weeks until LA. Three weeks, you are going to be studying, training, living, and hopefully working in LA. So moms, we're gonna do headshots tomorrow. Yay. You are selling your image. All right, moms, get upstairs. Go, let's get busy. We need to make it fierce. We need to make it rough. Your hardened criminals. Try to step, let me see that. Can you try to travel forward a little bit? Go. That looks great. How ironic that Abby gets served papers and our group routine is about women being in jail for doing something wrong. What message is she sending here? What happened before we came here? Abby was served, she was served. with the lawsuit today and in her bit, place of business here. in front of all kinds of people. It's the Kelly and Paige thing. Mm -hmm. Now, how did Abby take this? She was pissed. Kira, if you were here, you would know. But as usual, you just bail on us. The people who have been here week after week, month after month, we're vulnerable. We're all in a very vulnerable situation. We're totally exposed. And I really resent the fact that you get to go and come as you please, and it's OK. It's not right for those who do all of the work. Well, what, but what do you want me to You want me to go down there and say, oh, this isn't correct? You need to punish me? Everything's fun and games for you guys, and it must be nice. You're not that special. I never said I was. Well, your actions definitely show that.
and well, I'm not. sorry that you feel no, that way. No, don't feel sorry. It's a very cowardly way to act. You know what? In some ways, I really do wish that Christy was still here. Because at least if Christy was here, she would own all of her actions. I own my actions. No, you don't. Because yeah. you're a coward. And all you say, well, don't talk to me about it. Talk to Abby. But it's your behavior. I'm not the one that made the decision. Oh, but you're the one who acts. Or perhaps doesn't act because you're not even showing up when you're supposed to be. You can't even do your job. Okay, the photographers are going to be in Studio B today. Hello, how are you? I brought a lot of stuff. We're going to LA and we need fresh new headshots. This can help promote Kendall's career. This is really important. This is Becky and her assistant Nancy. Hi. They're going to be working with you today. These photographs will be submitted to casting agents, to commercial agents, to dance agents in Los Angeles upon arrival. And you guys know some people are photogenic, some people aren't. Today, our job is to get the best photos possible that are going to put you out there and say, we want this kid. We need to start shooting right now before we waste Just any time. First. So I think Mackenzie is going to go first. So I put a timer for 15 minutes with each kid. OK. We have 15 minutes for each kid. I'm confused. Are these headshots important or are they not important? Do a couple different faces. How about a little bit, a little bratty, like a little like, what? Like who? Hmm? Like the, like, you don't like that girl, like evil, evil. Purse your lips and make that evil eye. Really look like you want to kill somebody. The, like you're going to roll your eyes at me, like put them up in the back of your head, your eyes, like, ugh. Oop, that's your time. Give me something. We have nothing here. Yeah, let's change this. Let's change the jackets. You look a little fake. Whatever happened to the 15 minutes, Abby? We're trying to hurry up. We have nothing here. Like, I, um, think of doing your video. Like, you know that picture I have of you in the snow, and you're like this? <gasps> Give me that. Like, you just got a puppy. OK. Let's move on. Maddie would be the leading lady. Be the Jodie Foster. I want another look for Maddie. Abby clearly can only be focused on so many people at one time. That dress fits you better now than it did this summer. If it's not Maddie, it's Mackenzie, Kalani. Those are her favorites. Abby's not going to have much time or focus or attention for Nia or Kendall. She probably will barely be able to remember their names. I don't know how we're going to get through everyone. OK. Thank you, Maddie. We're good. You're finished. And Kalani's next. Like flirty, like little smile. Abby just said that Kalani, Mackenzie, and Maddie are the only ones that are going to book jobs in LA. And I would say something right now, but I don't want to jeopardize Kendall's headshots. Abby, do you know we have two girls left still and 10 minutes left? It's the luck of the draw. You know, whoever goes first and was ready. Kendall. Kendall. Gotta go. All right. Be the popular girl. Be ditzy. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Right there. Next. OK, we need a definition, though. We, we can't even see her lips. And her under eyes are too dark, too. OK. It's 3.30. Okay. We need to be out of this room. Three freaking times, and she still doesn't have lipstick on. OK, I'm finished. You're on your own, babe. Good luck. <laughs> oh, come on, Abby. <laughs> but it's Nia's turn. Every child got a critique from Abby, except for Nia. Do something sassy and just be you. This has been a roller coaster of emotions this week. And Abby needs to find a target to focus her anger. Abby is showing her true colors, and I don't like what I see. So, how is the rivalry? I have been dying for Kalani to compete against Maddie. Why are we traveling 3,000 miles to be here and to train? No solo today! 
Abby has never allowed Kalani to become a star like Maddie. I want to show Abby that Kalani is her new star. Maddie, you know, if you lose, you wouldn't just let me down. You would let Sia down and Ryan Huffington. And they watch. That's how they know you. That's how they hired you to begin with. What about Ava? Ava and her mother, Jeanette, are going to be at the competition. She wanted to be on this team, and I pretty much just dismissed her and her daughter, Ava. So now they're out for revenge. Oh, I bet you she's had her solo for nine months. Oh, she could do a solo for three years, and Kalani will still her. beat her. Right. Kira is absolutely confident this week. I'm a nervous wreck because Kalani and Ava are older dancers. They're teenagers. It's really not a fair fight. Come on, let's go. I want to use the word exotic, like another form of life. We don't know if you're a star from the galaxy that's come to life. We, we don't know yet. So that's why you need to kind of be a mystery. Smile on that. And ending and up. And look, just look back and look at each judge as you go off. All right, OK, you go grab a drink, and let's see you. All right, so Maddie, this is an important piece to me. You're waiting to hear what did the judge say. And we're talking about truth, hate. You might hear it on social media or read it. People are saying hateful things. You know that I love you and that I love all the kids I teach and that it's all going to be OK. The pressure is going to be on Maddie because Abby's going through a lot of things, you know, with lawsuits. So she's having Maddie act it out. It has to be perfect. Maddie, you have a huge reputation to uphold for the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are my number one girl. Got it? You don't want anything to change. I just got an email. Elle Magazine is interested in Maddie. So how did they get your email? Abby, she reached out to them, because normally she doesn't reach out. She said, I'm going to get her on that. So that's exciting. Speaking of jobs, I overheard Abby tell the photographer Kalani, Maddie, and Mackenzie will be the only ones getting work in LA. I'm trying really hard to bite my tongue. And any other week, I probably would say something. But at this week, knowing what she's going through, I'm not going to stoop to her level. Not yet, anyway. No, you could see the difference in the pictures. It's frustrating. Yeah, I know. She can't make, oh, whatever. We'll see what she happens. She can't make what? She can make or break you. That just solidifies that we go to LA to support now these three. What is the, the kicker is that she wants us to be loyal to her. We're standing by you through the lawsuit and all the negative media attention. Do you not see how outrageous your behavior is? It's cruel. So let's take from the top. The arms here are on your knees. Hips. Who's this calling me? Hello? Hi, Holly, it's Jeanette. Hey, Jeanette. Looking forward to seeing you guys in Detroit. Oh. Thank you. But anyway, Thank I you. just wanted to call you personally and let you know what Abby did to Ava was wrong. I was never told she was cut. You're cut. Is that clear enough for you? I'm coming after on the dance floor. What? Oh, uh, ooh. She's got to know that she is not allowed to treat young kids this way. Bye. Bye. She hung up on her. Shut her up. I can't stand when you're so desperate that you start getting vindictive because your kid wasn't liked or your kid didn't fit in or whatever it is. I pulled up Jeanette's Facebook and there was Christy talking against Abby at a meet and greet and she's sitting there filming her. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Jeanette wants revenge. We got a lot of people who want revenge on Abby. Jeanette, we got Christy, we got Kelly. Might as well put myself on the list too. Why well, she's ticked a lot of people off. The other foot on the ground. Flex, flex, turn out. Mackenzie, back leg higher on the jeté. Back leg higher, Kalani. 
Okay, here's the deal. I think that you know it, but faces. Uh, there's nothing happening. The meanness that you start out with dies very quickly, and then I get nothing. This is it. I heard about it, Kalani, for weeks from your mother. But then I had to hear about it from every other dance teacher in the country. Why don't you ever put anybody against Maddie? Why don't you put everyone against Maddie? You going up against her is huge because I don't put everybody up against her. What about Ava? She better not come close to either of you. Abby has been tap dancing on my last nerve. But at this point, I mean, we have a competition against one of your biggest rivals, Jeanette. You just got served papers in a lawsuit. Our team is already fractured. Everyone's out to get Abby, and she needs to be on her best behavior. OK, we're good. Girls, stand in front. Moms, come on. Lo and behold, Stalker and her posse, none of them have I ever seen before. These kids, a bunch of nobodies. Don't say a word. Welcome. Welcome to Michigan. Hi, welcome to Michigan. Nice for you to join us. There's a storm coming. I am appalled. I didn't expect the silence. I expected all the girls to do what they normally do, jump up, run over, and give Ava a hug. Like, nobody said anything. Nobody said hello. Very, very different. And um, I don't really understand why. I want to go in and shake her hand and say, listen, I don't want this between her and I. So why don't we go see Abby? Hey, Abby, listen, I don't so, want, I don't want. You know what, you shouldn't be in here. And I'm, don't, I don't care what you want. It's not about what you want. I, I don't know who here. you are, but you shouldn't be in this dressing room. I brought her in here with me. I know, but why are you in here? You're I in the school in suddenly? Right. You didn't ask. I, you didn't say, excuse me, Abby, could I speak to you? Here's you the just, thing. I want, I, I want, I want. I came I want in here. I'm playing a good sport, so I'm going to be a good sport. Go, And I am going to leave. Because I did the you're right thing by coming sport, in here. You're not a good sport, and you're a nervous wreck when you speak, and it's obvious. I'm a nervous go. wreck? Go. Good luck. Well, if you knew anything about show business, you would you're know gonna, not to say good me. luck. No. I can say good luck, break a leg, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does okay. matter. You get asked you're... out, I get asked back. You... Go, stalker. And your jacket should be longer than your shirt. This is not the way you want to start off the competition. You just got served papers in a lawsuit. You need to stop Abby. Guess what? They're going to be angry and there are going to be repercussions. All right, ladies, this is it. The whole world's been waiting for Abby Lee to put somebody good up against Maddie. This is a showdown between the two of you, and this is about beating that other kid. Kalani is going up against Stalker's daughter, Eva, and Maddie. I know she will win. Kalani is Abby's new star. Focus on your solos. I'm staying back here. I never go backstage. But in this situation, I don't trust the stalker woman that's here. I want to keep an eye on what's going on. If this competition would ever get started, and this is nuts. We thank you for your patience. Let's go. Delay of game. Come on. Wait, we have all day to be here. Was she yelling at but you? I think so. She, she was just time. trying to psych you up because she knows you're a really, really, really good dancer. All right, judges, we are moving on to entry number 22. Entry number 22, please give it up for Ava performing On My Way. Around the bend is a mystery. I always choose the path less taken. You can tell me to change direction, say it's all for my own protection. But if I fall down, I won't be shaken. I want to be the judge of me.
She looks like a prey manis. Judges, we are gonna go to entry number 21. Please welcome to the stage Helani performing Dance in the Shadow. Stepped out on that stage and looked like a million bucks. Is that good? Yeah. Good. You haven't done a solo in a long time. You better not be rusty out there. Okay, we are moving along to entry number 23. Give it up for Maddie performing the judgment. Maddie's solo is about Abby's pain with the lawsuit and Kalani's two years older than her. There's a lot of pressure on her. Once again, my student stepped on stage like she owned it. 
I'm kind of curious, Abby. Why were you backstage trying to get in my daughter's face? Oh my God. Go, 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 go. go. Do you stay away you from me? You are face lying. I was 60 I feet away from your kid. Do not come and correct anything about her. Abby made a big mistake, and I'm coming after her. Gina, I want to talk to you because um, I'm putting a complaint in about her. I was 60 feet away, and she said, you got in my child's face. How dare her? Stalker accused me of throwing this kid off her performance. I was minding my own business. I love kids, and I don't understand how that gets so flipped around. Hmm. Don't even get me started. Abby. Gina comes into the dressing room. You know, I think Jeanette is trying to get us disqualified. You can't go backstage when another group is dancing and intimidate anyone. How dare you speak to me that way? How dare you? <sighs> oh, my god. I'm just here to have your back about what happened backstage. Why are you telling Ava when she needs to go and when she doesn't? I wasn't speaking to her. I wasn't addressing her. She talking to me and looked no. behind her, and you said yes. Ironic, I went back there to make sure nothing was going wrong with my kids. This is Sounds like it's more alive. of a miscommunication is what I think. Whenever your kid trumped up to make excuses for that performance, so be it. Don't flatter yourself, Abby. Her kid better not beat either one of my kids. Watch out. I think people are going to continue to try really hard to bring down the ALDC. But I think our girls are strong, and they're going to fight on the dance floor. We are starting with entry number 70. Please welcome to the stage, Stomp the Yard. I thought the group dance was excellent. Time for the awards. Now, if we lose to Jeanette and Ava, watch out. Hi, everybody. OK, we're going to go ahead and get started here. First, to our Energy Junior small group. We have a lot to prove. People are trying to knock us down. And we have to show that our girls are winners. And we're not going to let it happen. In second place, entry number 69, the challenge.
And our top scoring Energy Junior small group is entry number 70, Stop the Yard. Congratulations. You got served. Moving on to our overall solos of the day. Maddie is going up against Kalani for the first time head to head. If Ava beats both of them, there will be repercussions. Fourth place. Entry number 21, Dance in the Shadow, Kalani. I'm completely shocked that Kalani placed fourth overall. And the third highest solo today, entry number 22, My Own Way, Ava. Third place, The Stalker's Kid. Is Maddie gonna win this or not? And the second highest solo today, entry number 23, The Judgment, Maddie. Maddie beat Kalani. Maddie's still my number one girl. But she's second. Look at this competition! It's a joke! Yeah, how did Ava beat Kalani? This is rigged, and I will say that. Gina does not have this competition rigged. I do not think there's a setup. She wants to blame everyone else. Abby, be accountable for yourself. I'm not saying that the judges aren't qualified. I think they're wonderful. I don't even know who they are. I didn't get a program, didn't get anything. But what I think is that she's doing the tabulating. OK, you look like an idiot. I would stop. You're creating excuses to protect Maddie's and Kalani's reputations because those kids matter because those are the only ones who are going to work and book jobs anyway. That's bull. I didn't say it. You did. That's bull. You said it. I did not say that. You need to be a grown woman and own your words. I, I own my words. You're not getting rid of me. And I'm not getting rid of Mia. We have been here, unlike some people. But I have Mia on the who, team. Wait, excuse me, but who gets your benefit and your interest? Someone who just walks in no, after that's being not gone true. for several months. I have backed Mia up with those pathetic feet for years. Holly and Jill, they think that their kids are it, and they're not. If the moms can see what I see, then they'll understand what I'm talking about, right? Kendall. Come over here. So you're outside the room, and Gianna and I are both casting directors, so we want you to walk in. You're walking into the room. Well, let's pretend. Go. OK, thank you. So really, that's how you would walk into a room? You wouldn't say, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Kendall. Well, you didn't say you would introduce yourself. You said, I, how would you walk in? Take your hair brush, smack your kid in the back with it, and say, what's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you introduce yourself? Why are you doing this? Because you if were you a want bad to mother, make it, and you didn't Jill say. Jill is not a bad mother. Kendall, your mom will stick your hand up your butt and move your mouth like a puppet. Please stop. Okay. Yeah. You're really embarrassing. Yeah, right. Well, you should be embarrassed. Abby's acting a little crazy, so I really just want to leave. Kendall, no, get she's in here. Upset. Don't single those two out. I will tell you how to act because I'm helping oh. you. It's everybody else's fault. She wants to blame everyone else. You are a disgrace. Stop oh. it. Oh. Stop it. You're an ass. Abby, stop it. Stop it. Holly, I don't know why you're acting like this. Because I'm, I'm telling you. Ten you, years ago. I'm telling you what you're uh, doing eight is years wrong. Ago, that Nia had a great face, that Nia should be doing this, that Nia, I'm the one that told you that. No other dance teacher told you that when she Abby. was little. I told you that. And what I'm hearing now I'm is not the same dance. person who's doing that. You're not advocating for you, her the same way you, you used to. You do what you want to hear. I thought that Nia had pictures, period. I think the woman has lost her mind. Wake up. You need to change your ways, and you better do it fast. We're standing by you, but how much can you put up with? Next on Dance Moms. The thing is, you don't understand, Holly. I don't want to talk to you. Maddie is flying to Los Angeles. She is opening doors. Hi, how are you? So JoJo is going to be a guest. Do you think I could replace Chloe? Nia, you are the featured performer. She's not embracing this role. I went and got her in the other room 
when your kid couldn't do the lyrical piece. Why bring that up to a child? You know what? I grew up in the Bronx, New York, but I also have class.